groin. Meet Quan, a pioneer in medical science. Good boy. In 2005, another gorilla, Mumbali, was dying and needed a transfusion. So Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo sedated Quan and borrowed his blood. It almost worked. Mumbali died, but Quan's blood was a match. That was sheer luck. There was no database of blood types for apes. Zookeeper Jill Moyce turned to Chief Veterinarian Catherine Gamble and asked a question that has advanced science throughout the ages. Why not? I was like, Dr. Catherine, we, we went into this. Did we know Quan's blood type? And she's like, no, you know, we could have sedated him and we, you know, he could have not been a match. And I was like, wow, has this never happened before? And she's like, oh, actually, we've been through, I've been through many transfusions. And I'm like, oh, we should do this. And she's like, you want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So they contacted zoos in Africa, Asia, Europe, and elsewhere. These cards now list the blood types of 800 gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, and orangutans around the globe. I think that lives are definitely being assisted and in some cases have been saved because the intervention has come at a much more timely event. And it's allowed people to not just think of transfusion as well, if we get to that at the end, now it can be looked at as a preventive medicine measure. Once the animal care team decided to develop a database, the trick was to get hundreds of great apes to submit to blood typing. It turns out that was no trick at all. Gorillas like Quan here are only too happy to help. Each time Jill pokes Quan in training, she's teaching him to accept the prick of a needle. And for a small treat, the giant silverback gorilla complies. That trick could one day save his life or the life of another ape. If someone dies uh, when an animal is sick or, you know, if it uh, unfortunately passes, it, it is very tragic and you do mourn the loss because, you know, they do become part of your family because you see them, you know, more, um, sometimes more than you see your regular family. For the closest relative to man, a little preventive medicine seems the least we could do. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.